This is the first little lamb born on our farm. We're so excited to see him come. This is Hicks. He's grown into quite the little handsome devil. He was born this March and boy, he's grown since then. Each year before the fair, the sheep get washed up and sheared and ready to look their best for the county fair showing. Our kids love showing 4-H sheep. And this year, I enlisted the help of a professional shearer. In the years past, I've tried my hand at it so many times, it would take me three days to do what this guy did in like 15 minutes. I love that he showed us the technique he uses in order to get the sheep in the most comfortable position for shearing. If he had not gotten the sheep in this position, it could not only be dangerous for the animal, but for the shearer himself. After years and years of doing this, he's got it down to the best and safe techniques in order to keep everybody safe and comfortable. So he lays the sheep down and then props them up on their butt cheek because just like any human, our sheep do not like sitting right on top of their tailbone. That would not be very comfortable. So he scooches her over on one butt cheek and gets her into this super amazing, yoga-like position. I will say, I was kind of skeptical at first, but when I saw her laying there like super comfortable, I knew that she was in good hands and we had selected the best guy for the job. I can only imagine how good it feels to get all of this matted, dirty wool off as the hot summer sun starts in July. I know that if I were attempting this myself, I would definitely have nicked a nipple at this point. These legs are also super tricky. I will say this entire project is super tricky. Enlisting the help of somebody who's done this for years and years was definitely one of the best decisions we made this season. I can definitely tell this guy's done this a long time for as quick as he was and gentle and good with the sheep. He seemed to know where all of their pressure points were so that he could keep them calm and comfortable while he was working. Hazel was all done. Just look at all that weight off of her. Avon had to make a note of how greasy she felt, and I explained to her that that's the lanolin oil on the sheep. <laughs> she didn't like that very much. We filled three whole bags that day. 
enough to get to work on our dryer balls. I loved that he took the time to teach our kids how to properly handle the animals to keep them safe and from injury when it comes to moving them and shearing them. He taught Avon how to lay the lamb down safely so that it didn't break its legs while holding them gently. After a few tries, she finally got it. And she was so proud of herself. We're so thankful for experts in this area to teach our kids proper handling of our animals. It makes them and their animals work together so much better. He was so patient with her and she was so grateful to learn a new skill. Everybody's all cleaned up and ready to head back to their pasture. They were excited to run around in the green grass for a while that day. We're all zipped up and ready for the fair. This is in the fair stall, getting ready for showing. Our kids love showing sheep for 4-H. It is a lot of work and in the middle of summer, it's not always the coolest, but their heart is in it and they love showing. We think 4-H is a super important part of our kids growing up and they are so excited to learn new things, work with animals, and really understand what hard and rewarding work is all about. We may not do the best at the fair showing wise, but our goal every year is to try to do better than the year before. We always come to our fair with some of the smallest sheep as we have the South Down Baby Dolls, but we still love it anyway. 